Swipe Up, episode 222, the podcast where I share my unfiltered thoughts on the latest news and entertainment updates. I'm your host, Ray Taylor. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Uh, my number one movie from last year. Uh, nine people, including the two directors, did all of the visual effects on the film. None of them had gone to school for visual effects and instead had taught themselves from online tutorials. Uh, I love this piece of trivia because it is one of the many reasons I love this film. I mean, it's a great film, the most creative film. These directors I absolutely love. Swiss Army Man, the first film they did. My favorite film of that year when that came out. Completely original. They do things gr from the ground up differently than everybody else. They are self-taught. Everything is so handmade, and I think that shows in every way. And I think that that imbues every film they do with an immense amount of heart because it is so uh, handmade. And I love the idea that you don't need to do things the way everybody else does, right? You can teach yourself to do things uh so they only had a small team led by Zach Stoltz, a friend of the film director. Uh, team was made up of visual effects artists who were also directors who learned effects as necessary while working on other on their own projects. Uh, the team wanted to keep the process personal and handmade, and so they used programs they were familiar with, like After Effects, and avoided the traditional visual effects hierarchy in order to create shots from beginning to end. Uh, the limited resources helped shape the final project product uh, as the team had prioritized certain shots and make tr strategic decisions about where to put their focus from the ground up, breaking the rules. Um, just because something is created one way, there's an industry standard, doesn't mean that it's the only way to do a thing. In my opinion, like I like to c compare these things to like hiking as an analogy or a metaphor, right? Go on a hike. You start at a place and you have a destination spot, right? You want to get to the top of this mountain. You want to get from A to B, whatever it is. And in reality, there's an infinite amount of ways to achieve that goal to reach that destination most people choose the paths that most people use tend to be easier but also tend to produce the same results you experience that hike in very much the same way that everybody else experienced that hike you see the things on that hike in the same way, from the same perspective that everybody else sees that hike. Uh, you know it's a proven hike, so there's far less error that can happen. You, there's a lot less mistakes that you can make to learn from. But even if you're following a path, each individual step you take will be unique to your journey on that path. And that's the same in anything that you create anything that you do that the in, you could take the industry standard way you can take the the way in which people have set up these rules of how it should be done but and you do the things everything is made in a very similar way everything that is made in that very similar way tends to have a lot of similarities to each other. Nothing really stands out. You look at most superhero movies, right? There's a lot of similarities to a lot of the things that happen in those movies versus in the hike perspective, taking a route less traveled, walking off of the path, is going to do so many things that will be beneficial, right? It's more difficult because it's not proven. You're going to run into difficult situations where you may need to backtrack. But every time something difficult happens, 
those are moments that you're learning, you're growing, you're you're understanding how to deal with new things that people who follow the path will never get that training, will never get that education or experience doing because they've done things the easier way. So when you go off the path, it may take longer, it may be more difficult, it will be more difficult, but on that journey, you will be gaining so much more strength, so much more endurance, so much more experience and knowledge learning because that entire process is a learning process. So by the time you reach the destination and you've taken a different path, the growth that you've experienced in that time is exponentially more than somebody who just followed a path, somebody that just went the easy way. And I think that's one of the big reasons why I love everything everywhere all at once so much is because you see all of those differences in this movie. You see how, because it was created and produced differently from the ground up, they chose to take a path to the finished product differently than everybody else does, ended up creating something that is far more unique than anybody else has ever made, despite the story being complex dealing with multiverses and things that a lot of different themes that we see in a lot of different things in popular culture the way it's handled and expressed and the finished product is so different so unique and has so much heart because they took they blazed their own trail they created this in a way that is different from everybody else they broke all of the rules in making this movie the way they did and that's something that i love even from like a podcasting standpoint being online and and looking at and being a part of like online groups of you know new podcasters and people looking for advice there are no rules when you're creating art There's no rules to podcasting. There's no rule that says you have to have this mic. You have to use these chords that you should be using in H4N, that you should be doing lighting in a certain way, that you should be recording in a certain way. You should be using, like, everybody thinks that they have to get the $300 Shure mic that Joe Rogan uses. So many podcasts are set up to look like and function like old radio, right? These are people taking old paths designed for a completely different technology. Whereas if you just understand modern technology, if you understand what you want your show to do, there are an infinite amount of ways to produce that using an infinite amount of combinations of technology, of tools, very simple tools to produce high quality stuff. Right. I bare bones like the thing I love about podcasting is that it doesn't take it's super easy to do. But so many people, because they want to follow paths that other people have have laid in front that they have seen other people do, they think they need to do. They think they need to invest in professional equipment. Right. Like a five hundred dollar mic is somehow going to make their podcast better. Recording their podcast in 4K is somehow going to make their content more interesting, right? Having a studio, a separated studio with perfect soundproofing and a producer that is working constantly to run the levels in a separate room separated by glass, right? Because they're stuck in some old radio model of how things need to be recorded. Doesn't make their show better. In fact just ends up making them sound like a lot of other shows that are produced in that same way. So I absolutely love this aspect of everything over wall at once. Obviously it could have ended up being a bad movie, right? One of the, one of the possibilities when you set off on your hike off a trail, just going out into the wilderness, you can get lost 
you may never reach the destination. You know, having setbacks, some people don't learn from setbacks. Some people don't come back from setbacks. Some people don't dust themselves off and get back up and try a different route. Some people give up. A lot of people give up. A lot of people give up that follow the path too. But if you do make it to the end, you will have gained something that nobody who followed the path did. You will understand what you're doing from a perspective that none of them have. You will have experiences that you've experienced that none of them have. And that is a massive strength. That is a massive benefit that you can apply to everything. So I absolutely love the story. That's why I wanted to talk about it, obviously. Um, and a, a personal philosophy that I've always, that I've had for a long time now. You know, like people that say there's rules to doing a thing. It's like there's just because rules exist because there's proof of concept doesn't mean that things only can be made in that way, right? That's how things evolve. Things evolve from people trying new things, from taking new paths, right? Punk music didn't exist in the 1500s, right? It took a lot of people experimenting in a lot of different ways for that to develop into a thing. And even in that, once, like, the way these guys made their own trail, right? There could easily be other people that follow their steps, retrace their steps to do that same thing. But it may, maybe it doesn't work for them. You never know. Maybe you need your own path. Play to your strengths. Anyway, uh, I love that story. Everything, every wall at once. An amazing movie. I also love the Daniels, the director duo that made it. I, you know, I, I'm sure after all the love they're getting, I hope that uh, Michelle Yeoh wins Best Actress. That would be amazing. She won the Golden Globe. Um, I'm sure they're going to be able to make whatever movies they want. I mean, last year that movie just it it blew up. It was I think became the most profitable A24 movie in the history of that company. So I think uh, good things for them, and I hope. And I, I doubt it will change them. I doubt it will, right? Because that's just what, the, why would they change? Why would they change to do the boring thing, right? When they already, they, they can do these things bare bones and in a way where they don't need massive, they can, it becomes way more personal. They have way more control over the thing when you're not going through these old timey, these old timey procedures. Anyway, love it. Want nothing but the best for them. Can't wait to see whatever they do next. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Ouch! Today, Today is, is the, the day, day where you, you wake, wake up and you realize, realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.